Hello dear students, in this video let us learn fertilization and implantation. So fertilization is uh, the primary process of asexual reproduction. For asexual reproduction to happen, there must be a fertilization between the gametes. Right. So to understand this, uh, let me draw the diagram of an ovum. An ovum or the egg is a female gamete which is a haploid cell. It contains a nucleus and a, and a dense and a large cell cytoplasm. So apart from this, it also has an outer layer which is known as zona pellucida, right? So this is known as the zona pellucida. And it has uh, other uh, structure, right? So an egg or the ovum is the largest cell in humans. Now, so during fertilization, uh, when an egg is ready, when it is present in the uh, fallopian tube, during an intercourse, uh, the sperm is released into the female reproductive tract and, and the sperm starts to swim and sperm starts to reach the fallopian tube. So the first sperm that reaches the fallopian tube fertilizes the egg, right? And the sperm, it contains the head or the acrosome, right? And this acrosome contains a powerful hydrolytic enzyme and also the nucleus, right? So uh, with the contact of the acrosome with the zona pellucida here, with the contact with the zona pellucida here, so this induces a change around the cell membrane and it prevents or it blocks the entry of the next or the second or third or whatever the sperm that comes later right so the egg or the zona pellucida does not allow more than one sperm to fertilize the egg right so this is what is fertilization and so as a result the fusion of two haploid cells that is haploid egg and the haploid sperm results in the formation of a diploid cycle, right? So to understand this, uh, let me go the female reproductive system. The female reproductive system consists of a fallopian tube, a fimbri, and then the uterus, and then the cervix, right? And an ovary, right? So, during each menstrual cycle, the egg undergoes various follicular stages from primary to secondary, tertiary and then the graphene follicle. So upon the rupture of this graphene follicle, it releases an egg and it is collected in the ancillary eastern junction of the development. And yes, uh, it is very important that the transportation of the sperm and the egg must be simultaneous, right? Uh, so, uh, during the mid menstrual cycle, an egg is released or an ovum is released every month. So, after an intercourse, millions of sperms are released at a time, right? And the first sperm that reaches the egg fertilizes, fertilizes it, right? So, after fertilization, it undergoes various uh, zygotal development or various changes. Say, um, the zygote, the first cell that it forms is the zygote which is deployed. Then from one cell to two cell, right? Two to four, like that. Then four to eight, like that. Then from eight to sixteen, sixteen. And sixteen to thirty-two, right? Sixteen to thirty-two cells. So different, these different zygotal stages are, these different zygotal stages are known as blastomeres. Blastomeres, right? That is from 1 to 2, 2 to 4, 8 and 16. So these different zygotal stages are known as blastomeres or also called as morula. At 32 cell stage, they are known as the blastomeres. Right? 
So these blastomeres undergo further differentiation and form the blastocyst and starts to move down, starts to move down the female reproductive tract which has the uterus. And the uterus contains the inner lining which is known as the endometrium, right? So uh, as the blastomere undergo differentiation and changes into a blastocyst, the, it changes into an outer outer layer called the trophoblast trophoblast and the inner cell mass right the trophoblast and the inner cell mass so the outer layer the trophoblast get interdigited with the interdigited with the uterine wall that is the endometrium so this process of introduction or attachment you can say or uh, the or the blastocyst is embedded into the uterine wall is known as implantation so this particular process is known as implantation and this implantation indicates pregnancy right so all this process occurs within a menstrual cycle Say uh, within a menstrual cycle means say after ovulation. If uh, ovulation occurs on 14th, on day 14 suppose. So if on day 14 there is an intercourse, it is likely that the egg will get fertilized. So after fertilize, uh, fertilization, it will undergo changes or differentiation which may take around 7 to 10 days. Right? So if it is 7 to 10 days, say by uh, day 25 or 26, it is likely that it may get implanted into the uterus, right? After which the woman will stop to bleed or after which the woman will stop its menstrual cycle, right? So this process of introduction or the attachment of the blastocyst in the uterine wall is known as implantation, which is the beginning of the pregnancy or that confirms pregnancy, right? So, uh, this is what is about uh, fertilization and implantation, right? So, with this, I end my explanation here. So, I hope you will help you in understanding the topic. Thank you so much.